Welcome to you all. This is a first. I'm finding it very wonderful that we can do this. We've lost a lot by way of direct social contact this year, and we've gained a lot that we can have this worldwide gathering, literally worldwide. And wonderful to have you all. My love and blessings to you all. Yes, you have called me. And I come to you with a love in my heart. And I'm so happy to have you with me to celebrate what is thought to be my birth. Now, I was not really born in the middle of the winter. The shepherds had their flocks in the fields and the new lambs were being born. So it was more like the early spring, but it doesn't matter. What we are celebrating is the remembrance and rebirth of a light in the world, which for so long had been forgotten. Aaron just reminded me that I did not press record. Let's start that again. My blessings and love to you. I am the one you have known as Yeshua. And I come to you with love and joy. Thank you for celebrating this day with me. What does it mean, my birthday? First of all, you are celebrating my birthday, but also all of your birthdays. The remembering of who you are as light and coming fully into the world as a light. I want to jump back some many thousands of years. Through a millennia, there were pockets of light here and there on the earth. But they did not have fertile soil to grow. And so they flared up and died away, flared up and died away. The one that I was, was a very old soul. Resting in a realm of light with other kindred old souls. The one in that your scriptures refer to as the father. Father, mother, infinite creator, love. This one came to me and others of us and said, we need someone to reignite the light on earth. Someone to be a mirror to people and help them remember that they are light for they have lost their way in darkness. Who will go? He looked at me, will you go? Well, of course I said, yes. I recognized <coughs> that it would be a challenging passage. I was used to the high vibration of these upper realms. What was it going to mean to bring this consciousness into a physical body? in a heavy vibration. Would I be able to do what was asked or would I forget, as so many humans forget? The beloved one told me you will remember and I will help you remember.
As some of you may remember consciously or only in your dreams, many beings gathered there. in that part of the world to help create the fertile soil. Not just at the time I was born, but for hundreds of years before that. You have heard my friend Aaron talk of this, of being invited by his human father to come into the earth at that point. Many of you chose to come into the earth at that point, starting a few hundred years before my birth. And then some of you taking a new incarnation near the time of my birth. We had a purpose to bring the light further into human attention. so that people could remember amidst the heaviness of fear, pain, and darkness, that they could remember that they were light and that this world is destined to become a beacon of light in the universe. Was it hard to tear myself away from that heavenly realm? Yes. But not so terribly hard. Because I understood the precious gift I was being given. To help carry light further out into the universe by remembering the light that I am and expressing it so others could catch the glow in their own hearts. Are you ready to catch it? Got it? Light, love. And so I was born with the name Yeshua ben Joseph, ben Yosef, like it was pronounced. The G pronounced as an I, as a Y. Born into a poor couple who nonetheless lived in a community of seekers of light and knowers of light. So much planning preceded that birth, which of course as the infant I did not recognize. Your earth was created as a realm capable of carrying the light. The loyal opposition, as Aaron calls it, so often strived to diminish that light and often did so for long periods of time. I think that time was needed for that which knows itself as light and remembers light to gain strength just as a fire's dim embers may smolder for a long time before they're ready to flare up when you add a bit of wood. So I, this one known as Yeshua, I lived and I died. And worldwide, not too many paid attention to that. It was more than one a small part of the world that people noticed. But people did notice because I was given the gift to be able to help you remember, each of you, the light that is your essence, 
and to come again and again into human incarnation, holding the intention to strengthen that light and give it as gift. This is the original gift, the gift of light. This world has long balanced between light and darkness and much of the universe as well. There are places of radiant light, but not with a good way to bring that light out into the world. Because the human experiences both its inner light and its darkness and has free will choice, another precious gift. Because of that, the human has the ability to stimulate that light, to literally tip the balance into positive polarity. So many of you have committed lifetime after lifetime after lifetime to this intention. Now the world teaches on this fulcrum. In distant times past, when there was that degree of balance, there was not enough awakened light to carry the balance. But my dear ones, this is where you come in. Now you and so many millions of you through the world are ready. The soil is fertile on that for love to take root, for the awakened heart mind to take root and to begin to grow and spread, answering that which is filled with hatred, greed, and pain, a deeply resounding yet loving no. We are light. You are not alone. I am here, of course, but so many other, you call us angelic presences. I simply call them brothers and sisters of light, which you are also. We are ready right now in this decade to carry it forth into the world, the human world, as a ground of light. You offer gifts to each other to celebrate my birthday. And you offer love and praise to me. The deepest gift you can give to me and to each other is to remember who you are. To hold this world with all its heavy catalyst. The catalyst that seems expanding in this past year. More hatred, more rage, more fear. The virus and other health issues eroding environment. The solution to it all is as simple as my words that you have heard over and over. Love one another. Now it's not so simple to do that. Many of you have taken classes, even years and years of classes without learning how to 
touch the places of fear and negativity in your heart and find the love that is beyond that fear and anger. We do not fear the negativity. We use it as energy to transmute whatever is present into love and into light. Please help me with this work. I came to Earth 2,000 years ago to ignite a spark, to create the soil, to feed the soil. And now all of you are precious plants deposited into that soil with deep roots and a little spark that says, I think I'm light. I think I am. You are. You are light. Are you ready to do this work? I think you are. Or you would not be here with me today. Hold this close to your heart as the true meaning of Christmas. Christmas, we might translate into the Christ Mass. The Mass or a series of teachings, deeply profound and powerful teachings that celebrate to the Christ. All of you are part of that Christ consciousness. It is your essence, your birthright. It takes so much courage to acknowledge that you are this, I think, because you are somewhat afraid of your power when you acknowledge, I am the awakened one. I am the Christ. You, you, excuse me, all of you. You as humans are so courageous and so beloved that you were willing to undertake this task to move forth with this. You did not come to fail. You have never failed, only the soil was not yet ready to nurture the plant that you were. But now it is ready. This fertile soil that I call earth and the deep love that is tilled into the soil, ready to blossom forth and support the awakening of love. Some of you ask me, what if we can't do it, Yeshua? Well, you've been in that place before. You've not been able to do it. You've kept the embers burning until the soil was again ready to give it a try. You've come back and said, maybe now. And then a hundred or a thousand years later, maybe now. Now it is ready. I'm not asking you to trust or believe me or not. This is simply my perspective as Yeshua. But I see the light growing in the world. And I see equally the dissatisfaction with the darkness that seeks something beyond the darkness and knows that there is something beyond the darkness. That the darkness itself was never intended to be the all.
The darkness is the ground that is transmuted with love to reveal the light. Will you join me? Take my hand, take each other's hands, and let us walk together. We are light. I do not say it will be easy. I only say it is possible. The earth is ready. And I will always be with you both leading you and within your hearts. This, what my brother Aaron calls loyal opposition. It will be that, of course it will be that. That which is determined not to allow the light You live in a non-dual universe where there is no separate light or darkness, only two sides of one hand. And when the light is clear, it shines through so that the whole hand is a light, the whole heart is a light, the whole earth is a light. And that which serves the darkness and is terrified of light will go elsewhere. We are not in the business of destruction. That which is not ready to move into a higher consciousness will have plenty of spaces in which it can take incarnation and grow through third density for as many lifetimes as it needs until it's ready to evolve. We do not harm. Light does not harm. Light holds the door open with infinite kindness and patience. But also with the strength that says, no, you may not pull us down to where you are. If you wish to ascend up into the light, you're welcome. And we hold that invitation over and over and over. And even to the most terrible despots of the earth, you are always welcome to the light because in your essence, you are also light. This is the power of the light. Darkness does not welcome light into its fold, but light welcomes darkness because it knows the essence of darkness, the light that resides in the center of that darkness. And it trusts the power of light Two thousand years ago, we sat around such a fire. And yes, I told stories. I told stories of the times when hatred and darkness filled the earth. And how one small ember could be enough to make them pull back. Sitting at such a fire in some places in the world. Not a big bonfire, just a small fire. A band of wolves, even hundreds of wolves might come, wanting to tear apart the humans that sat close to the fire. Wanting to destroy. The humans would light a stick and hold it out against the wolves, holding light against the darkness. But the message was never, go away. 
the message was, you are welcome here where we have heat and food, if you will come in friendship. Some of those wolves crept forth, took a bit of food, warmed themselves at our fires, and perhaps many, many thousands of years ago became your first domesticated dogs. They were welcomed into the light. And those of you who have dogs know how much dogs are light and are loving. I do not remember my birth, of course, not in a vivid adult way. I remember coming into the world and being embraced by loving parents. In, yes, a stable of sorts. There were animals present. The soft touch of a sheep. The moo of a cow, the beautiful sense of that animal life, people coming and going and looking at me and my looking at them with wonder. Ah, oh, I did it. I came into this human, human incarnation and so far it's not so bad. than having to be whisked away from my safety. And then finally back again. To the beautiful village in which I had the fortune to grow up with beloved mentors. I was born awake, but I had to reawaken all of these skills. Someone asked me the other day, was there really a brilliant star of some sort or was it simply the conjunction of two planets? Well, I was not an astrologist. But yes, there was something brilliant because in my infant memory, I remember the strong light lighting up everything. Who knows where it came from or what it was. But I like to think of it simply as the light of love. The light of love. And you are all this light of love. So what are you as individuals to do about the strong negativity on earth today? A four-letter word. Can anyone guess what it is? Love. Love is the place where your heart is unconstricted and the true essence that comes from the divine fills you and can shine out. And when it shines out, it is so powerful. Can you feel it at all in my energy now? This is not my energy. This is the energy of love. Its seeds are within you. We celebrate all of your birthdays today. The birthday of the Christ, the awakened one, who comes forth in love, 
truly to change this whole world and universe by reminding that which has not yet found love, that love is the essence of it all. Come forth and be the love that you are. And I will always walk with you, holding your hand. You will never walk alone.